Good morning, children. Welcome back to Spotlight Online. Here's Fun Fact of the Week. Did you know that Adam's name is from the Hebrew word Adama, which means the ground? Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 says, Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. So that's how Adam got his name. And that's the fun fact of the week. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, thank you for your love and goodness in our lives. We want to honour you with our heart, soul and mind. And we pray that you will transform us through your word today. In Jesus' name we pray and everybody says, Amen! Children, let's worship the Lord right now. And God has a plan for all of us. God has a plan for me because He loves me and He made me for great things. God has a He loves me and He made me for great things. And I will show God how much I love Him 
God has a plan for me. God has a plan. It's Bible story time. Hi children, the March holidays have just ended. What were some of the interesting activities that you have done? Hmm, that sounds pretty fun. I found something fun to try too. But it requires a lot of discipline. It is too exercise. But after one week of exercising regularly, I realized it was too boring to do it alone. So I gave up. Oh, give me a second. Hmm, looks like my friend is reaching. Morning, Bernice. Morning, Catherine. Children, meet my friend Catherine. She's new with us in the Smart Light team. Hmm, Catherine, how about sharing with us something interesting about yourself? Something interesting about me? Well, I love to sew. I can sew shirts, dresses, pillowcase, and maybe even bags. I think the most satisfying moment is when I can mend holes in socks and bags and continue using them. Uh, but sewing? That is so difficult. What if you put yourself in the needle? What is that? Let's see. Hmm. It says, challenge by Alina, paint the colourful pictures. Colourful pictures? Hmm, let's see what we've got here. <gasps> Drawing block. Let's see, marker and paint. I know what I'm going to paint. So easy. Sewing is definitely tougher than painting. Right, something colourful. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's paint. Your painting of the rainbow is nice and it reminds me of this The rainbows in the sky to show God's promises are true Yes, you are right Bernice The colourful rainbow always reminds me of God's promises to us So, what inspired you to paint a colourful coat? Is it because you thought of Joseph, the dreamer and his colourful coat? Bingo! Joseph is not only known for his colourful coat. I've read in the Bible about how God was always with Joseph, not only when he was a worker in Potiphar's house, but also the time he was thrown into jail, forgotten for many years. He later even went on to become second in command to the king of Egypt, also known as Pharaoh, by interpreting his dreams. Let's watch to see what happens in Genesis chapter 39 to 41. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Joseph. This is Joseph, hey. who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. He was his father's favorite, so his brothers hated him oh. and sold him into slavery. Yeep. You see, Joseph was taken to Egypt, Ooh. and Potiphar, one of the Pharaoh's officials, bought him for his household.
God was with Joseph, and he did well in Potiphar's house. Oh! Potiphar saw that God made everything Joseph did a success. Aha! So he put Joseph in charge of his whole house. Yeah! And God blessed Potiphar's house because of this. Potiphar's wife saw how well Joseph was doing in the house, and she wanted to make him do bad things. Joseph ran away from her because he wanted nothing to do with someone who would try to make him do the wrong thing. This made Potiphar's wife angry, and she wanted to be rid of Joseph. So she lied and made Potiphar believe that Joseph had done the bad things that she wanted him to do. Potiphar burned with anger against Joseph and sent him to prison. While Joseph was in prison, again, he did well and the warden soon made him responsible for all that was done there. God was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. When two full years had passed, Pharaoh was having unsettling dreams. Pharaoh did not understand his dreams, so he sent for Joseph. Pharaoh asked Joseph to tell him the meaning of his dreams. With God's help, Joseph told Pharaoh that the dreams told of what could come in the future, and he explained all the dreams to the Pharaoh. Pharaoh believed that what Joseph was saying was true. He trusted Joseph as a wise man, and he put him in charge of the land of Egypt, of Pharaoh's palace, and of all his people. I think if I was Joseph, I would have been so angry with my siblings. I can't imagine being betrayed by my own siblings, let alone being sold to a place so far, far away. Well, I believe Joseph's feelings were deeply hurt by his brothers. After all, he was still pretty young to understand what was going on at that time. Did you used to argue and fight with your siblings a lot while you were growing up, Catherine? Yes. Sometimes, when I argue with my sister, we would scold each other until we are satisfied. I know that's not right, but anger gets the better of us sometimes. And that's why I have learned to turn to God to tell Him why I'm upset and allow Him to calm my heart, so that I do not react in anger like I used to in the past. Mm -hmm. The Bible also showed us one interesting character of Joseph. Although Joseph was forced to work in Potiphar's household, he still gave his best, despite what he just went through. Joseph loved God very much. The Bible said that the Lord was with Joseph, and he gave Joseph success in everything he did. And later, Potiphar even entrusted everything he had in Joseph's care. Now, don't you agree that God has a perfect plan for Joseph? I believe so. It was evident in Joseph's life through the bad times, sometimes even painful situations. God was with him no matter where he went, even in jail. Jail? Oh yes! When everything seems to be going right for Joseph, he was falsely accused by Potiphar's wife and got thrown into jail. Now children, you might probably think, how is being thrown in jail a perfect plan by God? If you pay attention to what is in God's heart, you will also know that all things work for good to those who love God wholeheartedly. God loves Joseph too. During his time in jail, Joseph probably didn't know how things would improve for the better, but he trusts in an unchanging God. And that was the best decision he could have ever made. Pharaoh spent sleepless nights worrying about what he dreams to men. And Joseph the dreamer was sent to interpret them for him. That gift of interpreting dreams, it was a gift from God. In God's perfect timing, Joseph eventually rose to become the Prime Minister of Egypt 
because Pharaoh was pleased with him. Hey Catherine, are you forgetting something? Now that Joseph became the second command in Egypt, he was now in the position to save his family from the famine because they have stored up enough food in Egypt for survival. In Genesis chapter 42, Joseph's brothers came before the Prime Minister of Egypt to ask for help, only to realize that it was Joseph their brother whom they sold away. Wow, look how the tables have turned. Joseph finally had an advantage over his brothers, but did he choose to take revenge for the pain he suffered? Nah, he didn't. It was probably a tough decision to make. But Joseph eventually chose to forgive his brothers who had done wrong against him. And that pleases a lot. I believe something amazing took place in Joseph's heart that day. Forgiving his brothers freed him from the hurt he experienced years ago. And it has also brought restoration in his family. So children, if you look back to the time when Joseph was first sold, Away to Egypt by his brothers up till the time he became the Prime Minister of Egypt and forgave his brothers. It was all in God's big plan after all. As for Joseph, he persevered in faith and listened to God wholeheartedly and was able to overcome and withstand each difficult situation because he remained positive in the Lord. This is true resilience. Today, we learned three important things. Number one, God has a perfect plan for our lives. Even when things don't go well, God's plan is still perfect for He has something good for those who love Him. Number two, don't lose hope in God's promises even in tough times. Joseph was sold away as a slave, falsely accused and landed in prison. Yet he continued to trust God and did the right things and still gave his best. We too must do the same and trust that God will bring us through. Number 3 It is important to forgive in order to bring reconciliation. When we forgive those who have hurt us, we will bring reconciliation to the family. Oftentimes, when we don't forgive others, we bring hurt to ourselves. So it is important that we forgive and free ourselves from unforgiveness in our heart. And that pleases the Lord. What's today's activity? Children, we have some activity worksheets prepared for you online. Head over to this link and download them. Also, you can share your reflections with us by emailing us at spotlight at lighthouse.org.sg The life of Joseph demonstrates God's ability to transform sorrow into joy and to breathe life into a seemingly bad situation. Similarly, God does the same for us through Christ as we journey with Him in faith and obedience. Come, let's pray together. Dear God, we thank you that we can always trust in your promises that bring us hope and freedom in tough situations. Help us to be wise in making the right decisions, especially when we are tempted to sin. May your Holy Spirit always lead us and guide us as we walk in obedience and faith in you every day. In Jesus' name we pray and everybody says, Amen. Join us for the next episode in this series titled, A Few Good Men. Stay tuned for the quiz challenge to see how much you have learned. It's time for quiz challenge. Are you ready for five simple questions? Here we go! Joseph was betrayed by his brothers and sold off to... Blank! Fill in the blank! Beg for money in Egypt Be a slave in Potiphar's house Be a king in Egypt Be a spy in Israel And the answer is... Joseph was betrayed by his brothers and sold off to be a slave in Potiphar's house. What was Joseph's spiritual gift from God? He could read people's minds. He could make colourful coats. He could interpret dreams. He could predict the weather.
And the answer is, he could interpret dreams. What is true resilience? By obeying the school rules, by running away from your problems, overcoming difficult situations by staying positive in the Lord, by not doing anything. And the answer is overcoming difficult situations by staying positive in the Lord. Joseph was promoted to become blank, fill in the blank. The prime minister of Egypt, the prophet of dreams, the pharaoh of Egypt, the ruler of Israel. And the answer is, Joseph was promoted to become the Prime Minister of Egypt. And now for the last question. Why is it important to forgive others? It brings reconciliation. It frees us from unforgiveness in our hearts. It pleases the Lord. All of the above. And the answer is all of the above. And that's the end of today's lesson. See, See you next week! week.